Hi, it's Julie Wolf with IncomeAssurance.com slash blog here, teaching you about Skype, building business with Skype. And uh, I have a Skype tip for you. <laughs> There's my picture, in case you didn't know what it looked like. That's my branding picture. And um, I also uh, wanted to let you know about See You on Skype. That's the domain. See You on Skype.com is a membership site. So before we get into the tip, I just want to make sure that you know about the membership site under development. There's a huge beta discount. Instead of $47 per month, it's only $7 per month to get all the stuff on here. Uh, this is just my first draft of what you get as a, as a member. Nothing too exciting, no videos or colors or anything yet. But um, it's, a, it's a great value if you want to um, learn all kinds of things that I can teach you about Skype and about Skype tools. Uh, come on over. But anyways, the purpose of this training is to show you how to build a permission list. This is five. Sorry, this is not your current version of Skype. This is not Skype 5 or current version of Skype. This is old 3.8. Okay, but uh, the, and this is just what I'm using in my netbook right now in uh, Skype, uh, second Skype account, Julie Wolf 2. Um, just in 3.8. But the same uh, theory applies um, to building permission Skype lists. Last week I did a video on bringing uh, two Skype rooms and the people, who, individual people who I had put in an ask list um, and sending them a question. Are you interested in learning more about Pinterest? If they said yes, they went into a permission list. And I was just demonstrating how to combine I had 44 in here before. I was just demonstrating how to combine um, the Skype room on permissionless building, um, or rather to, to add the room to the list, to the permission list. Because the reason they are in this room is for the purpose of learning Pinterest. All right. So I brought this up and um, made it an active chat, went to Skype, loaded the active chat, which is Julie's Pinterest chat. And again, I can put this message, you know, my reminder of the training on this particular topic, Pinterest, into the room, but they're not going to see it. They're not going to open it as readily as they would uh, a private message, right? Because messages, unread messages in Skype rooms are tend to not be personal, right? <laughs> but we want to send a personal message to everyone so that they actually read it and see it and don't miss the training. So I loaded that one up. I, I, I hit OK. It took a second to load. And then I simply, uh, I have to select them all. And, oops, looks like it missed one. And I simply added them to the permission list by add to category. And I chose the permission list like that. Boom. And there were 44 in the room, as you can see. And I'm adding all of them from that room on that topic to my permission list because it's my room and that's what the purpose of the room is for. That's why they joined the room was to learn about Pinterest. So I'm adding them to the permission list to remind them of a training. You know, where here's the link to our Pinterest training coming up soon. Um, here's the hours, here's the time, here's the link to join, etc. And I and I sent them off this message all at one time. Send message to users. And that's it. And I uh, increased my permission list from, I think it was 49, to uh, that had said yes from the ask list, the broadcast I 
sent to ask them if they were interested. That 44 has said yes. And I just increased that to 64 in the permission list and sent this broadcast out to them. So this is a demonstration of how to build a Skype prospect funnel using permission methods, building a targeted permission-based Skype list um, from categories or contact groups in 3.8. It's actually a 5.8 version of Skype. It's now called a contact list. Um, so that's pretty exciting. So that's how to use Message Magic to combine a room uh, with a permission list to actually move, or, or an ask list that said yes from a broadcast to move them all into a permission list and send them a private message. Of course, I also put the message in the room, but they're going to be more likely to see it and read it um, as a as a private message, um, you think about how you use yours, um, and you know how you use your Skype. A lot of times, if you see a lot of messages in rooms, you don't read it, but you're more likely to read a personal message. So again, this is Julie from C1 Skype. Whoa, where am I going? From C1 Skype. Here it is. Um, <laughs> membership site. Feel free to join for free or upgrade to discount beta. Uh, instead of 27 it's $7. And uh, also be sure you take some time to learn all about Skype from my Income Assurance for Skype blog, incomeassurance.com slash, slash blog, <laughs> to build business with Skype, to build and manage target responsive Skype contact lists using permission Skyping methods. Julie out. Thanks for watching.